So I'm here with Corey Fowler, a web developer from Innisfere. We're at KonFu, and Corey's one of the speakers. Uh, what's your topic on, Corey? Uh, I'm actually doing two topics. Uh, I'll be speaking on both Windows Azure and SQL Azure. Uh, you're at an open source conference, and you're talking about uh, Windows technology. How does that happen? Uh, well, the Microsoft Azure platform is actually a, a fairly interoperable system. Uh, it allows for pretty much any open source language. They've ported Java. Ruby, Python, PHP, and obviously .NET all work on the Azure platform. So what were your initial impressions when you first heard that Microsoft was venturing into embracing open source? Uh, well, they've been doing it for quite a while now, so it made quite logical sense just to include it into the, the new systems moving forward. So when they moved into the cloud platform, uh, and I'd like to mention that they're basically covering the majority of the languages out there, which is quite unique because a lot of like Google App, App Engine and uh, Amazon Web Services are very limited in the, uh, the number of programming languages that they actually support. But it, it made a lot of sense for them to move all of the different programming models into the cloud to try and further their open source involvement. What kind of opportunity do you think this means for open source developers? The opportunities for open source developers, it gives them a wide platform of things to work from. So if they're an existing Windows Server user, uh, they'll be able to incorporate any Active Directory listings that they used to have using Windows Identity Foundation and just kind of extend the, the Microsoft platform that they're already consuming now, um, but move it out to the cloud. Corey Fowler from Innisphere, thanks a lot for your time, Corey. Thanks for having me.